other thing is I don't they don't get humor. Why the laughter when Trump speaks, I don't even get it. Why are you laughing? It's a weapon used in Vietnam. It's just like, oh, anyway, good for you. Governor Beto, future Governor Beto O'Rourke. Thank you. Eric Swalwell, who we just had on, alpha liberal. Mm -hmm. Three uh, magical t-shirts available at stephaniemiller.com now. Alpha liberal. Thanks to listeners George and Robert. That's right. Fantastic. All right. Um, this is I. Is it bad? Cliff, that Cliff Schechter, alpha liberal. Alpha well. liberal. Yes. Thank you. He, he does some great work on Twitter. Yes. Eric Swalwell posted the death threat to his children about beheading his wife and yeah, children. That was He's dark. like, this is what they are inciting. Yeah. Because of the FBI raid, and it is I. Okay. Can I, let's start with the guess the quote, just because you oh. didn't see that coming, did you? Uh, no, I did no, not. you did not. Who said this is the maybe the very first time in his life he's not protected? He's not protected by the office anymore. He's not protected by the banks anymore. He's not protected by his father anymore. Who said that? Baba Louie. No. Mary Trump about her crooky, 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 crooky Uncle Donald Trump. It's accurate. Can I just say the paranoia is my favorite part? Yeah. Oh, I gave you a new article this morning. Just, I know, I have oh, it in front of oh, me. Oh, no, 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 there's a newer one. Rolling. With Fed circling Trump ass allies who's wearing a wire? Oh, that, yeah, that's the is that the stone. one? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. That, that was the late morning stack. Who is wearing a wire? Who is Dark Brandon going to make wear a wire? But you know what, his followers believe that. Oh, that, that's, that's part, the dangerous part. I just, well, right, that, but I don't care. Okay, I, I, Donald I, Trump is worried he may have a rat. Oh, a rat? Oh my God, this is just for me and my Big Bag of Rats t-shirts at yes. stephaniemiller.com. Or multiple rats. Multiple rats. Lots of rats. Them. In his uh, midst, he's wondering, ooh, they think they're, they're rats and a mole in our organization. There's all kinds of vermin. <laughs> it's vermin infested. He's wondering if his phones are tapped. Oh yes, tap, tap, tap with multiple P's. It's Obama. He's tap, 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 tapping your phone. Remember that one? Remember that tweet with all the P's and the mm -hmm. tapping? Obama's tapping my phones. Or even if one of his buddies could be wearing a wire. I bet they are. Which one is Big Pussy? In Eric, your, in your whole Sopranos. <laughs> right? It could be any of his kids because he's Eric. never hugged he them never hugs their them. entire it's life. Baron. Yeah. Ev Ivanka can't wear the wire. <laughs> Did you see somebody speculated? It might be Melania. That's the tur that's the mole at Mar-a-Lago. Oh, my God. Because she doesn't want to be buried on a golf course. Who could blame her? <laughs> be best if I... Shut this down before I end up buried on the golf course. I mean, I have resilience, but this is ridiculous. Not going to be his tax deduction. <laughs> By the way, all of his wives, uh, the accents are interchangeable, so it's all the same impression. Excuse me. But, I don't best. think Marla sounds like be that. Best. Yeah, Marla, Marla doesn't. Yeah. I don't know what she sounds like. Who cares? She sounds. She has an American accent. She's, yes, she's known for her speaking skills. I'm sorry. Was that was that bitch? Excuse me. Is that bitchy? Not as nearly as bitchy as I meant it to be. It's bitchy and fisty in the morning. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Um, <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a second story about that. Tr expert, intel expert, Trump will suffer paranoia as he hunts for the Mar-a-Lago mole. I wonder if the mole is in the big bag of rats. Have you checked the big bag of rats for the mole? My favorite is in the Rolling Stone article. It's just he... I am exponentially happier... Oh, depending yeah. on how sad he is. Sad. Mm -hmm. so or sad. mad. When he's mad, it's even better. Yes? No, I was going to say, the Rolling Stone article, the best part about it is it's like later on in the article they talk about how all the people around him are saying, you shouldn't trust this person. You shouldn't trust... Don't or trust that or people are calling in or trying to get a hold of him and telling him who they should... This is who's talking to the media. And so people are just planting all of these bad ideas in his head. So it's just eating him up inside because he doesn't know who to trust now. Right. And they're all turning on each other. He's being gaslit. Oh, at, okay. Yeah. On Wednesday, the Wall Street Journal reported that uh, following a June meeting with the FBI at Mar-a-Lago, quote, someone familiar with the stored papers told investigators there may still be more classified documents at the private club after the National Archives retrieved 15 boxes earlier in the year. Uh, George Conway tweeted, uh, who is C-11? Which is, that's for first, first confidential inf information. Mm -hmm. Pete Strzok said N-2, N-3. Bag of rats might be bigger than we think. Struck said, "So much paranoia in a mole hunt. No one to trust. I saw no way out. I know what's happening. No one to trust. So much to do. So much to lose. So many walls closing in so fast. It's like the end of a Batman episode." Is no way out the one with Sean Young? Yes. Okay. In the limo, the thing. Okay. Okay. That's yeah. yeah. whatever. <laughs> um, he noted it also might be Melania. <laughs> 
Did you did you see the full Lincoln Project ad yesterday? So much ketchup everywhere. What? Did you see the full Lincoln Project ad yesterday? No. Oh no. Oh my god. Do we have it? Uh, no, we'll have to show it to you during a commercial break. Okay. It's oh, it's like oh. it's like who could it be? Who could it be, Donnie? Who could it be? And there's like this like subliminal voice in the background going, "She never loved you. <laughs> he got his two billion dollars. He doesn't care anymore." It's just, it is so. It's so over the top and so this ridiculous. Is, I've had what time is it? It's only twelve minutes after. Yeah. I've had like ten shedding gasms. <laughs> oh, it's oh yeah. Because you know when they're backed up for a long time, they're even more sad. Then it's just like an explosion. You know when they're when you've had this many years of nipple circling of we've got him this time we've got him. Just, now I really feel it just like comes out really, like waves. Doesn't yeah, it? it does. It's just waves. Oh of, man. Oh, it's, it's you are in the stuff. pipeline right now, girl. Oh my God! It's just and the fact that where is he now? Is he in New York? Where's, where did he take the fifth 5,000 uh, times? Like you, the mobster uh, that he is? New York. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. that look, It looks like a, a ketchup Jackson Pollock there. That's just... Or you know when you had one of those paint spinners in the 70s that you just... Woo, 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 woo. Spin art. Yeah, spin art. Mm-hmm, yeah. He's making ketchup <clears throat> spin art now. Yeah. Oh, gosh. And I didn't even get to this story yet. Fed's dropping subpoenas on multiple Republican offices inside Pennsylvania. Ooh. Oh, it feels like... <laughs> Dunn did got real up in here real fast. Yikes. Well, that let's, one kind of snuck past take, people last night. Let's take a look-see on this article, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> After the FBI uh, raided Mar-a-Lago Monday, seized the cell phone of Representative Scott Perry on Tuesday. This is just the best week ever, isn't it? And it's only Thursday. Yeah. Uh, can we get can we get uh, um, Tom Kenny in to sing best week ever tomorrow? You know, depending on how what else happens. He's available. Okay. Okay, uh, they're now reportedly uh, dropping subpoenas inside the uh, Pennsylvania State Capitol. Federal investigators delivered subpoenas and paid visits to several House and Senate Republican offices in Pennsylvania mm-hmm. Capitol Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, at least some of the individuals receiving subpoenas were told they were not targets of the investigation, but they might want to become Walter the Dogs if they would, you know, like to escape. Uh, but they have information of interest to the FBI, mm-hmm. as they call it. In law enforcement circles. Oh, State Senator Doug Mastriano, who's now uh, running for governor, was considered by the Trump campaign to be the point person of the fraudulent elector slate. So I just feel like I, there's, I don't know what the odds are. I'm not a statistician. You'll be surprised to know. Oh, my but God, I feel yeah. like uh, Trump and a good amount of uh, MAGA insurrectionist Republicans may be, um, you know, indisposed by the time the election rolls around. You think? Indis- you know, might be unavailable in prison yes that's okay. what i meant was i being too you subtle were, you were being was too I, subtle. subtlety is my strong suit i was <laughs> i being okay wow meanwhile that may not matter democrat john fetterman is leading republican dr oz by 17 points in oh my pennsylvania. god in, in other news oh dear and in other had, news in pennsylvania in has pennsylvania. he even had no, a campaign event no, yet no no <laughs> just trolling him Amazing. But he is he is set oh. to have a campaign event soon. Oh. His first one since. Oh, before. pardon me. Our friend Brooklyn Dad Defiant breaking Mandela Barnes is currently running two points ahead of Russian Ron Johnson, forty six to forty two percent. Let's do this. Okay. Um so don't don't get happy though, because that's no. still the margin of error. Yeah, of course. Okay. But this, I thank you, Rachel Bittacoffer. She said, I wouldn't be too sure Trump is, is politically helped by the search. Yes, the initial response is a flare-up, but once repercussions, both political and criminal, for others kicks in, lots of um, disunity will flourish. I, that's what somebody said. They're like, can you imagine the reporting like Hillary Clinton? Like, oh, this is really going to help Hillary. Like, when, when would they ever report it's good for a Democrat? That that's actually part of the mainstream media coverage of this? That, oh, this might have really helped Trump. Uh, really? Being the biggest crook in the history of the world? Mm-hmm. Okay. I still maintain it's fantastic. The Trump endorsed candidates, I think most of them, of course, not all, but I think most of them are going to implode, like Dr. Oz. It seems and that it's way. Fantastic. Um, okay. Yeah, I just, I am feeling very, what am I feeling? I'm feeling very Governor Beto O'Rourke, very Governor Stacey Abramsy. Hmm. I'll take all of it. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Kathy and Shroff says to understand just how good Republicans are at being professional victims and how eager the media is to help them. Thank you. Uh, you must well, you must know uh, simply know this one fact. There has never been a Democrat, Democratic FBI director. Every single FBI director in American history has been a Republican. Mm-hmm. Right. So the fact that they're screaming 
bias about the FBI. You're just like, it has always been a conservative organization. Yeah. Yeah. It's because of the New York FBI that Comey felt he had to, you know, Hillary 10 days before the election. We got that Lincoln Project ad audio for you if oh, you want to hear it. I, you know, I thought that this didn't seem like the normal ignoring me. It felt like you were doing something for my benefit, that, which is why I, usually am. I didn't say anything C-wordy. I usually am. You Because I could tell it. there was something going on that was more than the normal no eye contact and ignoring me completely and not listening to me. Right, Chris? Huh?